Hi friends, Robin here with Mattman and Robin. Welcome to the channel where I like to encourage, inspire, and include you in packing Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes and coming along on our adoption journey. Today I have a box for you that is for a girl aged five to nine and I'm so excited. I know it's been a long time. I've been making this, um, sometimes I spend a lot of time making the boxes and this is just one of those boxes that I spent a lot of time making. I've had so much fun since I've seen you last. I was crafting this box. My cousins from Japan came to visit. We had a wonderful few days with them. And then Matt and I got to go on a little cross country road trip to Orlando, Florida from Dallas, Texas, where we live. And we spent a whole week with my in-laws, his brother and sister-in-law, and their four kiddos, and we did all the theme parks in Orlando, and we just had so much fun doing all of the magical things there. And now it's time to get back into the swing of things and show you this amazing box. So it is actually a Barbie box, and we're gonna pack it together, but here are the Barbies that I have selected to go with this box, and she was one of the main theme characters and let me show you a few other things that created this theme this book so this is going to be my Texas box a little bit about where I come from and who we are and all of the fun things um, there are other things that we will pack together in this box that you will just see is full of Texas but these are the main colors bright pink, Barbie pink, and this beautiful teal color to create such a fun Texas box. So let me show you what I was up to. I started with this cardboard Ikea box and I created this. Oh, isn't it so fun? Um, so let me show you first that this right here folds down and it creates a little horse drop. Can you see? I put little hay and apples and made a little barn. And when she opens the little barn doors, that's actually a photo of Texas. Not really where I live, but where I'm from in West Texas. This is kind of what the landscape looks like. And she has these two little windows to look out and see the Texas landscape. Again, the horse troughs, so fun. And then over here, I made a little bulletin board for her. And this is our Barbie that I showed you in the beginning. This is my Texas that I love so much. And this is one of the horses that she gets to use in her barn. Isn't it adorable? Also, I have this little piece of grass that pulls out so she can put it anywhere she wants to in her little Barbie barn. And when I have it all level, the horses line up just right to eat out of their troughs. Isn't it so fun? Then on the other side of the box over here is, I'm running into things, <laughs> some awards maybe that this horse has won, the little horse ribbons on the wall, a photo of a show horse, some lassos, and a water bucket, and over here are some boots and ropes. I just had so much fun making this. It took me way too long, but just so in case you're curious, what I did is I made it all digitally. I just found images that I liked and I put them all on cardstock paper and I printed it out and then I cut them to the right size and glued them down. Um, so you can do this too. You can create anything you like. Um, I'm hope, hopefully I will be able to do a school room like this too. Um, and I will show you what that looks like. But this is my DIY Barbie barn in a box for a girl aged five to nine for Operation Christmas Child and I absolutely love it. Let's go ahead and get this thing all packed with all of her goodies so she can play Barbies. So what I like to do, first of all, um, you can just fold down these little troughs, this thing that I folded and glued on so that it pops up or folds down. 
we want it folded down so that we can put all of the flat things down in the bottom of the box. And I cut this grass out to fit just perfectly inside here, um, but still be able to be removed in case she wants her yard somewhere else and not inside the barn. And then these are my flat things that I have to go in the box. Um, also, in case you're curious of how um, I'm gonna be able to pack this so fast, because it does take me a while to maneuver and put everything in just how I like it. So what I do for my videos is I go ahead and I pack the box, which takes me a while. But as I'm going, I take photos of each layer. And then this is Matt's phone. I'm recording it on my phone. Um, and I will just look at the photos of how I've packed it as I go along to remind myself what goes in these layers. So if you feel discouraged by how quickly I'm about to pack this, don't. It took me a really long time. I just have already packed it once so I know where everything goes. So down in the very, very bottom, I always like to put the flat things. So here are all of her flat things. And I'm including this jumbo coloring book down in the bottom. This, um, what is this? A spiral, a one subject spiral and some stickers that I just put inside there will go down in the bottom here. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Oof. <coughs> it's been a while I got all choked up. Um, this is the book. I love this book. I did splurge. This is my splurge item. I spent $10 on this book just to teach this kiddo all about Texas. There are some fun flat things inside the book, but here is what it looks like. It's so cute. <clears throat> it just kind of teaches this little girl all about where I live and the things that we like to celebrate and the foods we like to eat. It's such a darling, adorable book, and I think it's gonna be so good for this little girl to receive. And then in the inside flap here, I have a few fun things. This is just a little, card with a little cactus on it really cute and then in texas we have the biggest skies um especially where i'm from the land can be super flat and it feels like you can see all of the stars so i did include two of these little moons and they're glow in the dark these were from oriental trading and at night this is what they look like isn't that so cool so she'll be able to see the big Texas moon from her room. And then I have included some of these. Um, I got these on super clearance at Hobby Lobby for like a quarter. And I'm just including a few of them for her to decorate her room or her locker at school. Um, or, you know, wherever she calls home. Just these really cute, fun, southwestern looking images that she can put on her wall or wherever she wants them. Um, so I really enjoyed these. And that was all the little flat things in her book. And so now we have all of the flat things in. I'm gonna double check my image that I took so I make sure what goes next. And next is her Barbie clothes. So I have this packet here. So the two Barbies I'm sending her, oh, I'm sorry about the table are two of my favorite Barbies ever. I love this Barbie with her beautiful purple hair and her fun gingham dress and her cactus, um, I guess it's a purse, a bag, belt bag, whatever, and her little Texas boots. And then this Barbie is gorgeous. I got her, um, I got both of them on clearance, one of them from Walmart, one of them from Target, but this Barbie is just, beautiful and her hair is in these teeny tiny minuscule braids and i just i think they're so much fun so i put them together um but there's a little bit of a conflict in putting these two barbies together one one of the barbies has pointed toes and one of the barbies has flat toes so it's going to be hard for them to share shoes and then th this barbie with the beautiful purple hair is technically a plus size barbie so it's gonna be hard for them to share clothes. 
So because of that, I have put in so many accessories in this little packet for her. Each Barbie has two outfits that fit her and at least two pairs of shoes that she can dress up in. So this is the little cutout that came with the plus size Barbie and her beautiful hair. Um, and then I just have things in here like because the book talks about the music that we like to listen to in Texas. So she has a fiddle in here, if you can see the fiddle. Um, other places call this a violin, but in Texas, it's a fiddle. Uh, there's also a guitar in there that's hard to see. So I've just loaded her down with lots of Barbie goodies inside her Barbie zip bag for both of them to play with. Um, and then next goes in the actual Barbie. I got this case at Dollar Tree. I love it. It's a wonderful thing. You can put lots of things in this, especially if you're making um, filler bags. So I've put magnet uh, paper dolls in here. I've put regular baby dolls in here. Any kind of little packet that you wanna make to send in as a filler, these Barbie bags are great from Dollar Tree to include that. Um, and then down in here, there are two little hangers that come with the bag. I just kept them in there. Love it. So this is what we've got going so far. Let me show you. We are about halfway full. I know that's a lot, but Barbies take up a lot of space and I like to send two so she can actually play Barbies one is also perfect and no guilt if that's all you're sending. Just it's my preference to send two. So now I'm going to check my next image to see what is next to be packed. And next is this little soap packet I have for her. In here is just a washcloth that I got from Walmart. This is a soap saver from Angie. And then this is a um, travel sized soap. I wanted her to be able to know what this is for and how to use it, so that's why I included the travel size soap. But for me this year, I'm putting less emphasis on the soap um, because OCC themselves, Samaritan's Purse, the ministry, seem to be putting a little less emphasis on soap, in my opinion. So this is my opinion, my preference. Uh, smaller soap for me this year. I'm still putting it down in there. And then next is this bag. I love these bags. I got, <clears throat> I don't know, like 10 or so of them on clearance for like $2 in 2022. Um, and so I do have to wait until I'm using one of these larger Ikea boxes because they are pretty big. But it's really cool because it opens up into a drawstring bag with this little pouch on the outside of it. It's perfect for school or carrying home all of her goodies. Um, however, I did go ahead and stuff it full. So let me show you the cool things that I put in here. I'm gonna take a little, little sip. Mm. I'm glad I'm doing this because I just reminded myself I wanna print some sheet music because I'm including this beautiful harmonica sent to us by Angie for this little girl, look at how beautiful this harmonica is. This is from Amazon, and I will link anything that's going in this box that is available online, I will link it in the description down below. This is from Amazon, and it comes in a pack of, I wanna say like four or five. So gorgeous, so shiny, so pretty and pink. Perfect for this little girl. Um, and just like I said, the book talks about how much Texans love music. So I thought this was the perfect box for our pink harmonica. Um, this is something I picked up. It was also a splurge for me. I think it was like three or four dollars, but I was given a gift card for Christmas. And so I used my gift card to get this really cool, um, what is it called that goes around your neck? Lanyard. It says do your thing on it and it just reminded me of texas so much with this leather strap it smells like boots and then it also has these little hanging charms one of them is just a clip so she can clip whatever she wants and then a yellow rose for the yellow rose of texas and this really pretty peach tassel i splurged i had to get it it reminded me of texas and i wanted this little girl to have it i also have included this comb from angie and these um, nail clippers and a nail file also from Angie. 
Girl, you're filling this box up. Um, I have her must-haves, in my opinion, a toothbrush. I like to get these from Walmart in the travel section. They come two for a dollar, and it includes the little travel cap and a spoon because I feel like if you're going to eat any, you can eat any food with a spoon, um, but it kind of reminds me of like Texas chili or, you know, I don't know, just fun things that we like to eat because the book emphasized the food that we like to eat here in Texas too. And then the last couple things down in here, um, I have a cherry chapstick for her, really cute and pink. And then this little packet of goodies includes a bow. And then if you can see right here, this is all twisted up, but it's a headband in case she has short cropped hair, she can still use her bow. Um, there are also two hair ties, a set of necklace and bracelet with a cactus on it, and this was sent to us by Charlotte. And then a set of earrings that I got on clearance at Walmart, and I broke up into a lot of little packets. So that is her fun little beauty kit, and that's everything that was down in this bag. I'm just gonna stuff it full really quick and get it on in here. Um, so we can keep packing together, packing, packing this bag. Let me double check my image where I um, wanted this to go in the box. Okay, yes, that is correct. I'm gonna put it right next to Barbie and then I will show you again. All right, so, oop, I feel like I made it a little bigger than it was before. But here's what we're working with right now. Barbie's fun packet, and here's her little soap packet we already went over. Next is all her fun toys. Um, oh, well, and a ruler. I am able to get a full-size ruler in this one. So, I'm gonna put it right down here. Okay, next is her toys, and I'm gonna have to really study how I put these in here. Okay, so this beautiful black horse comes first and I believe this is actually a horse from Spirit and this was given to me by someone in my neighborhood. It is used but it is in excellent condition. All I did was brush out her mane and I trimmed it a little bit just to make it all even um, and I braided the ponytail and again trimmed it to keep her looking great uh, but there's no scuffs. Nothing is wrong with this beautiful horse. And then also this horse was also donated by that same neighbor. Again, I just gave the hair a little bit of a trim to keep it all even and shiny and new and braided up the tail just so that in transit, it doesn't get crazy in there. But the really fun thing is this horse bows. And I did put a photo of this horse on her fake bulletin board in there. So really, really cool item. Then I have a few fun little finger puppets. I actually got these on after Easter clearance in 2022 and I've just been waiting for the perfect box. Um, I know that she is five to nine, but it's still fun to have other little animals to play with on the farm. So here is her piggy and here is a, a blue cow. How fun is the blue cow? And another horse because can't have enough horses. I feel like all little girls love horses. So um, even if she doesn't want to play with them as finger puppets, they're still just really soft, fun, fuzzy characters. I also have a pub Barbie puppy dog for her farm and a Barbie goat, um, also contributed by the sweet neighbor who gave me those horses. So, so much fun to put her little animals down in there for her to play with and because we love tacos here in Texas I'm including this tacos hot wheel it looks shaped like a little taco I thought that was so much fun she might not know what it is to her it could just be a rolling vehicle but for me and my Texas theme I had to go with the taco so there we go there is the layer of toys there I'm gonna check again because I, you know, it takes a long time to pack these boxes and 
Um, don't be fooled by how quickly this is going right now. Let's see what else goes in here. Oh, also next is her school pouch. So in here are a lot of basic things. All of this stuff was contributed by Dawn, Denise, Sonia, Valerie, and Angie. And then Lynette also gave us this cute little thing. Look how cute this is. Oops, it's upside down. It's a lenticular of a pig. So I thought the farm needed this little piggy. Um, and I have scissors and colored pencils, crayons, a highlighter, four um, colorful fun pencils, four Ticonderoga pencils, two pencil sharpeners, um, some extra stickers, all the things this little girl will need for school aged five to nine. So that goes in here. We're getting really close to the top and I have to, I have to check again. What comes next? Ooh, next is her stuffy. Look at this little cow, isn't she cute? So this was actually, I wanna say, I think she was a Christmas thing. And she had like Christmas candy around her neck. Um, so I did cut off the candy and the bow that came with it. But the way that she sits, even though she's a cow, this is very much a cow, um, super duper cute, but it reminds me of how our cat Trilla sits and her little face like Trilla looks up like this. So I just have a sweet spot for this because it reminds me of my kitty. Um, she is so cute. She has little beans in her bottom. Um, she'll sit up on a table and she's just big enough to snuggle at any age. So perfect little cow for my um, Barbie Texas box. And it is a Gans, a Gans brand. So let me get the cow down in there. And the next thing is this. This came with the horses. Can you tell what it is? It's a set of gates and they're so cute. They actually are, can you tell? They have the little Barbie logo and little Barbie horseshoes and they um, connect really easily with their little side hinges and it's just big enough to go around the box and it makes a little pin in the barn and I love it. And it's the perfect little toy to add for this little girl. Um, it goes in here right like this. I'm really excited for this next thing too. This is a beautiful dress. And this was given to us by Melody. She made this handmade and it is the perfect beautiful southwestern fabric and the top of it is pink it's one of those pillowcase dresses i don't want to completely undo it because i am packing this with you right now um but it's gorgeous and it was a little bit larger than some of the ones she normally sends most of the ones she makes in this style um, and sends to us to use they are for the toddler boxes but this one was just big enough that I felt comfortable for it to be for a girl aged five to nine. And this was the perfect Southwestern box for this really pretty fabric. And it goes down in here, right here. And next we have, oh, I gotta reach way over here on my table because we're filling up this box really quick. Look how full it is, but I still can get things in it. I'm still, I've still got a little pocket right here. I have this notebook, which is just a really fun journal that she can write in. It is lined. It's a Jot brand, which means it came from Dollar Tree, but it was given to me by my mother-in-law for my birthday to go in this box specifically. I love the little cactuses and the tacos and the sun. It just screams Texas and Southwestern to me. And it goes down right in here. Gotta get it kind of under the horse's tail and kind of maneuver things around and sometimes we just have to do that and shake the camera as we pack the box sorry about the shakiness I hope I'm not making you dizzy or feel intoxicated <laughs> I have a few more things in here um we went to the Texas Cowboy Hall of Fame with my family and they gave us these little stickers and so I wanted to include them because I just think it's so fun this cowgirl box for her to get these little stickers. 
So I'm just gonna put them down in the side of the box. They won't get lost or anything. You can fit anything down in the crevice. I also have this really fun macrame craft for her to make. It comes with all of the macrame she needs and the instructions are kind of like Lego instructions. There is English with them, but there's also just images of people like tying the knots. So no matter what language she speaks, she has this fun craft and this really fun craft. It is a sketch cross, I guess is what you would call it. It's black and then you scratch it and it comes with different colors. So here's the scratcher and then there's some um, strings that she can put through it to kind of make a bookmark or something. So I'm gonna put that down in here next to that notebook. And then I'm gonna put this right on top. We still have this big area to fill in right here. I have a fun fanny pack for her. And this pattern kind of reminds me of the dress of the Barbie. This was given to us by Lynette. They are available on Oriental Trading. And I think that this would be a great place to put her pencil stuff if you don't have a pencil pouch. Um, but for me, I just wanted to include it as an extra little fanny pack for her um, in that Southwestern cowboy style. So I'll shove that down here. I'm getting really full, but I have two more fabrics for her. This is her bandana. I got this on clearance at Hobby Lobby for a quarter recently. And then this fabric was also in the clearance section. Um, and I just think it's gorgeous. So hopefully there are things she can decorate her wall with this, or she can use it as a rag or a cloth, or maybe there's a seamstress in her family. I had wanted to include um, maybe a sewing kit for her, but I just ran out of room. And since it is for a girl aged five to nine, to me, I felt like the toys were just a little bit more important than the sewing kit. Um, whereas for a teenage girl, I think the sewing kit would be considered a toy. So that is the whole box. I got everything that I wanted in there, um, including all of these beautiful toys. Now I am gonna use this um, handkerchief to kind of cover up the plastic toy so that it doesn't damage the, um, the barn doors that I made here for her. So this has covered up all of the hard stuff and the only thing that's going to be touching the door are soft items. The last thing I have to do, or get to do I guess, is to write this little girl a sweet personalized note. Be sure to send her our email address in case she wants to be in contact with us. Then when I close it up, I need to put a rubber band around it so that it stays closed until it gets to the processing center where they can process it and make sure that everything that's in here is allowed. And then I need to put my label on here that notifies the processing center and the missionaries that receive this, that this box is intended for a girl aged five to nine. I had so much fun doing this box. Um, I look forward to doing a few more Barbie boxes with these fun interior decorations. It does take me a little bit longer to get them done to show to you, but I think that it's extra special for that little girl to get to have a place for her Barbies to play. That was such a magical time for me when I was growing up and playing with my Barbies and dolls and ponies. And so I wanted to give this little girl that same opportunity. Um, stay tuned because my next video is going to be a little adoption update, just kind of what's going on in our house and how we are prepping. And actually the footage is a few weeks old, um, but that's okay because you'll get to see it and you'll get to follow along. We do have a lot of progress happening and I can't wait to keep you updated as time moves on and as we get to know um, what is happening on our adoption journey, I will be sure to keep you included. That is it for today. I hope you had as much fun seeing this box as I had making this box. And in case no one has told you, I love you lots. Bye.